Any hoozle. I, for those of you wanting to pick it up on Modern Systems, I have included the link down below. But, oh, we didn't get our ring. Aw. It's sad that I still remember that. But we really have nothing to go with. We have a little bit of money. We could dupe. We might dupe later on. Thank goodness you be turned. But we'll just see what quests we have. Yes, some of them exclude others. There's ways to activate it so you can have all of them on at once. I set this to the multiplayer version so I can exit and re-enter and actually have more enemies to fight if I need it and new dungeons. So we can't just kind of go with it constantly. Hey, we've got the butcher at least. Please listen to me. Yep, sorcerer. The Archbishop Lazarus. <laughs> How's it going, JS? You let us down Father here to Saunders. find the lost prince. Saunders. Bastard led us into a trap. Now everyone is dead. Killed by a demon. I think he I need to the turn butcher. the game audio down a little bit. Avengers! Find this butcher and slay him. So that here, I'm gonna turn the game down audio ju game audio down just a bit. I have this game for the PlayStation 1, so just yeah, I was disappointed they didn't port D2 Your to consoles either. Will be avenged. It was kind of sad. But no, we're Jazrith. We are the official name of the Diablo 1 sorcerer. Best music of any Diablo game. You can fight me over it. If you really, really want. But you'll have to tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I forget how to hotkey those. It has been a while. It's been since last year. We'll go with that. Is that a lore thing? Yes. This is the name of the summoner. Jazrith, who was the sorcerer that fought alongside Aiden in Diablo 1. Aiden being the warrior. Yeah, nostalgia is wonderful. I'm going to be bad at aiming with this. I probably should have played it on PlayStation 1. But we'll be fine. Because yes, I actually have this on PlayStation as well. And we are going to be squishy because we are the sorcerer. Keep forgetting, I have to click every single time I want to attack. And if we die, we pop, but we are in multiplayer, so we can kind of come back and get our stuff. Oh god, this is going to get in bad. Let's go ahead and nuke you. Okay, we should probably go buy some healing potions now that we have a little bit of gold. I keep hearing something being angry at me. You? Fuck. Vicarious Visions should remaster this tile as well as they did with D2. You'd like to see the remaster of both Baldur's Gate, Dark Alliance 2, and Champions of uh, I think they did Dark Alliance 1. I'm, it didn't go over super well. Drognan in D2 mentions he met him. Yep. That, all three of them actually have official names. The rogue is the one who doesn't get, Whoa, like, actually do mentioned in game, I don't think. But I could be wrong. Hey, Pepin. What ails you, my heal friend? me. I do find it sad that we don't recover mana. But I will go ahead and just grab that and see. We're in multiplayer, so we can get resurrect if we really need to as well. I probably should have duped gold. It's fine. Of course, our favorite person is down in the southwest, but... Game name, Jazrith. Cool. But yeah, we're just going to go chill on this. What can I do for you? Oh, poor Griswold. He did not deserve what he got. I sense a soul in search of answers. Let's see. I think we might just end up... I, I, want, I don't know if I want to avoid duping for the most part. Though it would be kind of handy. Yep, the rogue is Blood Raven. And I really don't remember what the hotkey thing in this is. Let's see. Keyboard shortcuts. 
Okay, those are one to two. Hey, Boa, how's it going? I'm trying to remember controls. Yeah, walking back and forth to the witch's hut is god-awful. Could have sworn there was a hotkey system for the spells. But I might be wrong. Aren't you at level 91 now, by the way? Your master of the original Baldur's Gate? Uh, did get an enhanced edition, actually. It didn't, and we, we don't have a remaster of it, but it's, we've got a decent one. I need to remember, I forgot to do something real quick. I forgot to set this to all chat. You remember that YouTube will catch people who are swearing and stuff, unfortunately. So if you swear, your message might not come through, so it might take a minute for me to see it. 91? Awesome. I am currently 40-something. <laughs> I'm just taking my time going through. Hey, little buddies. Um, let's actually charge Boltum with the staff. Just to kind of thin them out. Oh, nothing there. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to just take this as an easy playthrough because we still have... We have about a month to get through all three games. I think we can handle that. Having difficulties finding jobs, otherwise you start grinding on your source. Ah. Well, hopefully you have better luck with the jobs. Incarnation. Ah. Smack him around. Hockeys were F5 to F8. I can try that real quick. Ah, thank you. I can never remember, because on the PlayStation version, it's literally you have two spells you can keep on there at a time. We do want to keep a lookout for healing potions. Uh, it's going okay. A little bit of a restless nap earlier, but other than that, I think I'm good. Ah, uh, listening in while working. Cool. Don't let me be too distracting. And honestly, the sorcerer is not terrible to start out with. He's just really mana hungry, so it can get a little bit annoying until you get your money up and going, which is probably the main reason we're going to dupe. The situation is a bit unique, so most people wouldn't pick you up thanks to your experience working with web development. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Honestly, getting tech is kind of a chaotic thing at the moment. Level up! Means we probably want... Mm, I think we want a bit of strength. We do want to get magic up as well. Because it's going to be pretty important. But at the same time, we also want to be able to carry any, like, use any equipment we find. Because we are going to have to do melee. Sorcerer cannot live on spells alone. You only can carry so many potions. Ow, completely whiffed. Can't imagine how... <laughs> <laughs> People in the U.S. are just basically screwed 90% of the time. We are right to work, which is, means that they can fire you for whatever in most states. You already win D2R Season 3? No, I'm I'm going to do them kind of in parallel. Diablo 2 and Diablo 3 are going to... I mean, Diablo 1 and Diablo 2 will be in parallel. And then once we beat Diablo 1, we'll be doing Diablo 2 and Diablo 3 in parallel. I'm going to count the Assassin run as sort of my Diablo 2 run. Because I want to get all three games done before the beta for Diablo 4 comes out. And yes, I will be doing the early beta. Hopefully. The big hopefully. But right now, I'm more concerned with just leveling up here. I probably shouldn't spam that as much as I do, but I'm going to use the self-repair thing. Because we actually have that ability. We can recharge our stuff on our own. Recharge is left. Go ahead.
ahead and use our skill to recharge our staff. Bonk. And 27. That's cool. Okay. Can't count on the public beta, so it's a big hopefully. Ah. You correspond with a guy from Vietnam. It's funny, right? Whenever he got off work, he's either in the morning. I would love to live really close to work. Sadly, the closest I've ever lived to work would be a five minute drive. And that was literally just for a very, very short while. And yes, I did just panic press that. Dying sucks in this. You lose everything. It all hits the ground. Because this is the multiplayer version, not the single player version. Let's go ahead and move that over there. We'll move these over into the last slots. This just goes in our inventory because we don't need it. But yeah. Most countries are a little bit better about commute and all kinds of stuff whenever it comes to work. Come on. Got another level up. Let's go ahead and get a bit of magic. That'll boost our man. I think we just killed something on accident. But yeah, we need to get a proper healing self, heal self uh, book. So just these scrolls. Yeah, not having show items sucks. I some You'll sometimes see me remove the map just so I can see them. Especially whenever things are behind things like that. But it makes it easier if I pop the map down for a split second as well. Thankfully, our charge bolt staff does kind of smooth things out just a little bit for us. But for the most part, we... Ow. For the most part, we want to just stay back... Let the magic do the work. I do not have a spell ready. Oh no! Need to walk away. Go ahead and pop you with that. It's where you start walking every time I go to shoot. Okay. And yes, we will burn this down to pretty much nothing. But yeah, there were a lot of various improvements they did whenever it came to Diablo 2. Diablo 3 didn't get nearly as many improvements. Ow. Don't think we're very close to a level. We are not. Played the Warrior when Diablo 1 first came out. I, I, I played it when it first came out too, sadly. Um, but I started as a sorcerer. You'd think that would make me really good at the Sorcerer, but no. It does not. I'm surprised we haven't found a library yet. Or a scroll room. We'll gladly take potions. Oh, hopefully everyone is doing alright. We just had a small surge of people come in, so hi. <laughs> Hi, people new and old. Yeah, this is a classic. This kind of, this defined the genre Diablo 2. Actually, I would say this created the genre. Diablo 2 sort of defined a divine. You guys dropping me anything? No. Dying. Hey! We got a book of Holy Bolt right off the gate. Yay! I love Holy Bolt. Such a useful spell. And yes, I will be reading it. Bonk. That is one thing I don't dislike. You actually get extra mana whenever you read a spell book. So you can use them as kind of like mini mana potions. these. If our helmet breaks, I'm fine with that. 
Same for a cape. Uh, you tried playing the Beelzebub hack but never beat it. Quality of life changes like show items, run in town, new classes, etc. Also had some of uh, the removed Diablo 1 quests. Okay. I think just the chill and enjoy from now until the end of lunch. Ah, cool. All the nostalgia feels, even just the sounds from the little demons dying. Yes. Although we're about to have some counter nostalgia feels, some old fear whenever we get down into hell. And no, I'm not speed running it. I want to enjoy the games. Which this one, the segmented speed runs are just hilarious to watch. If you ever do, do get a chance. A Fine. Well, he dodged, but his friend did not. Okay. I kind of wish we had charged bolt already. That's a really handy one. And yes, I do have stream elements popping off that, hey, guess what? You can buy this game over on GOG. It does actually help support the channel. I get like seven cents <laughs> if you buy it. So don't feel heartbroken if you don't. And yes, we are cheesing a little with the bow. Don't the tempt the butcher when I first find him. What? Why not? He's the most fun. I'm just sad we didn't get the ring. Sadly. The poison water supply ring. I think everyone did at least some cheating in this game. I mean, you can literally... Can you die already, please? Got him. But yeah, I think everyone cheated a little bit with this game. Either duping or some people were town killers, which kind of sucked. Hey, zombie. No, you can hear me back here. <laughs> but, yeah, hopefully you're doing all right, Father Howie and Hildwin and JS. I think I... Total kills, 12 million! How are we looking as far as levels go? Uh, we're getting close to a level. I'm debating whether I actually want to use up my mana potions or not. We'll see in just a minute if I do. Not enough mana. Depends on how aggressive this guy is. Die already, thank you. There's another one. Hey zombie, come out and play, yay. I think I see our first shrine. It's either that or a bookcase. Ooh, it's a bookcase. Yay. I'm always happy to see bookcases on the sorcerer. Sorry if I, like, get quiet every now and then. I sometimes have to concentrate. Got him. Okay, is it going to be an actual book? It is. It is Holy Bolt again. Uh, we're just, we're going to get all Holy Bolt now. I keep doing that to close the menu. Okay. F5, F6. I think if memory serves, Holy Bolt is cheaper. Nah, they're the same price. More damage hurts the demons as well, but... Eh. I need you right there. I think that's pretty much everything on floor one. Drop anything? No, of course not. How are we looking on gold? Eh, a little bit better. Holy Bolt was amazing in this game. Sure they will get to the point eventually. <laughs> but um. Tss. That's almost as bad as some of my jokes. We still have a little bit to ex Actually, no, we don't have a little bit to explore here. Do we literally have nowhere to explore? Nope. We're good. 
Gonna get all Holy Bolt books after getting no Holy Bolt books on the Rogue playthrough. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. We do need to go back to town and sell some stuff. Pick up some potions. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be doing Diablo 2 kind of in parallel to 3, because we're gonna be playing that a few times. <laughs> Got all the fathers. <laughs> What is with the, like, I do notice we have a lot of family names in here. <laughs> Father and uncle. Yeah, just dupe a little gold. I am very tempted to. It's not terribly hard to do. Just have to get the timing down. It's been a while. In a while. And especially whenever you don't have lag, it's a little bit more nitpicky. And, oh, I should probably do it with the entire stack. But yeah, this is how you dupe, starting from the very beginning. And you can sort of tell whenever you're going to get it or not. Because it'll just, it makes a slightly different sound. Do you do any other voiceover work? Um, not really. I've tried in the past and didn't get much traction with it. I've, I want to. I think it'd be great to do. But I'm not necessarily the best voice actor. I'm not theatrical enough, apparently. But... I could do a lot of weird voices if people need those. Yeah, this game was amazing for its time. Yes, there's a bunch of quirks that need to be cleaned up, but it's still a solid title. Once we get in the groove with this, I should be good to just keep going for, like, pretty hardcore. Okay, so let's stack those up. 5,000. Now we're going to start making the bank. I know this is the boring part. Yeah, duping is super nostalgic. I never duped in Diablo 2, but I did dupe in this. Just makes life a lot easier. Unfortunately, since I'm playing an online character, like not necessarily online, a multiplayer character, I can't just use the floor as my storage. I have to actually use the character. Okay, that should be enough to start out. That should get us potions, and if we need books, we can get those as well. And yes, I will constantly press escape to get out of the inventory menu. What ails you, my friend? Oh, let's see. They have an HD version which meets today's standards? Huh. But he's I used to have land parties playing this. I used to play this on dial-up. Let's see. What you should just have healing and revival stuff. Yeah, you don't have any like books. I will come back to him to buy stuff. We will be getting rid of the bow. We'll actually be getting rid of all of this. We want it, but it's better to be in our pockets. Whoa, what can I, do for you? I should have done it before I started duping. It's not a big you have anything good? Saber of Strength, uh, Sword of Sturdiness, Fine Rope of Dexterity. That would actually be kind of nice. Fine Rope of Dexterity is decent durability, decent dexterity bump. Yeah, we'll take that. Got a Bow of Vitality. That would boost our life while we're having to use the bow instead of mana. But we are very low at shooting. Split screen on uh, Diablo 1 on uh, PlayStation, yeah. Getting kicked off because the sisters wanted to talk on the phone? Yes. Or when somebody would just pick up the phone while you're on there and it would just completely kill the game. <laughs> you're like, oh, I just got booted because they wanted to order pizza. Couldn't say it beforehand. Okay, what books do we have? We've got a 
Another book of holy bolts. Sure, why the hell not? This is, this is gonna be our thing. Good lord. Uh, yeah, we'll recharge that. And I do want a, a single scroll of town portal for sure. Actually, I remember this being the thing. Using mouse controls in your inventory. Leave the shack, and we will drink that, drink that, and store these up on the loot. But yeah, I thought about actually doing this one as the PlayStation 1 version, which is honestly a lot easier to play. <laughs> it's kind of weird. People are like, Man, the controls of Diablo 2 on console are terrible. They're not that bad. They're this the they're about on par with the Diablo 1 ones. Am I going to do a certain number of levels per night? I'm going to I'm aiming for time rather than a certain number of portal levels, but I can try to aim for like cuz I think 4 days is probably about how long it's going to take to beat this. <laughs> but yeah, the sanctity of this place has been fouled. It always has been. It's Diablo. But yeah, the two-hour limit is still kind of a thing. Just because of my back, but I may just pause the stream for a little bit, do a stretch, do like a BRB, and then like a 10-minute break, and then come back and do it. So let's go ahead and get some healing potions. We only really need like four. He doesn't have full rejuves, otherwise I would buy those. He's only got regular rejuves right now, because we're too low level. Am I going to play Necro like in Game Sampler? Um, I've actually covered most of the classes on Game Sampler. Oh, you mean for Diablo 3. For some reason I didn't see that first message. Uh Maybe. I'm, I've already done a playthrough of Necro, and it's you can actually find the playlist in the playlist section. But I already did a playthrough of that, but it is slightly tempting to do Necro. I will probably do a different class, though. And I might be doing it with um, a smaller YouTuber that's trying to get things going. So I thought it would be a good way to give him a bump. Uh, let's see. But yeah, I'll probably do another class because then I can actually use... Oh yeah, these guys are not holy bolt prone. There you go. Level up. Go ahead and... It's slightly tempting to get more strength. I think I'm going to go vitality because I can use to be less squishy. Got a book of healing. That's very welcome. And a book of firebolt. So let's go F5, F6, and we'll do the other one later. <laughs> Just play until you feel you're comfortable. It It's fine. I can go over if I want to. The worst thing that'll happen is my back will like, have a few spasms. I can deal with that. Bonk. Not the end of the world. There's ibuprofen for a reason. Uh, let's see. Potion of mana. Yes, I will grab that. Fill me up partially. Beware the next hit delay. They are beasts. Yep. That's the only thing Holy Bolt doesn't hurt in this one. <laughs> I do like that they brought it into actual same mechanics with it. I would like Charged Bolt as a book. And by doing this in land mode, we can actually do... Go ahead. Oh, why are you not dying? Not enough mana. I just pressed the wrong button. Yeah, it's really sensitive to pressing the wrong button. Is there permadeath in Diablo 1? In single player, yes. Whenever you die, you game over. I've set it to multiplayer. We did the rogue in single player reason I did this in multiplayer is because 
in case I want to do Nightmare and Hell difficulty. Because in single player, you can't really do that. So, and keep all your stuff, that is. But if you die in Diablo 1 online, you pop and all your stuff goes into the ground. You have to go back and get it naked. Similar to Diablo 2, but way less friendly because, yeah. If you, you, you don't have a body to go get your stuff back, so you can't just no, leave no, the game. No, 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 you no, either... No, no. Can I please drink the mana potion? I keep pressing the wrong button. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Can you stay still for just like half a second? It's where you start walking as soon as I shoot. Okay, let's grab all the crap on the ground in here. There's going to be just a bunch of gold. We still need gold. We should still pick it up. It's just less crucial now that we can dupe. You take a book of healing for pain. I have at times. I would love one. Do I plan on farming books from Adria? Uh, maybe. If I find a book that I want a higher version of it, like that's not a common book, I will probably dupe it. I know that's not nice, but... Bonk him with the staff. Who needs a staff? I got spells. Let's see, you need to die. You need to die. Not seeing too much in the way of good drops, though. I would like a good helmet. Scroll of lightning. We could shoot that at somebody. And we can always swap back to the charge bolt setup. Bong him with the staff. The Iron Jang Bong. Popular since, since 1907. Should I try fighting the butcher? He's right there. He's just hanging out in his room. A buckler, that might be handy. We got an unidentified cap, which is probably decent. Arcane volume. Hopefully the game volume is actually decent. I didn't test it beforehand. We might end up using that. Let's go ahead and burn some of our charge bolts. It gets these guys down a lot easier. Probably the best spell, like as far as like normally obtainable stuff, is going to be our uh, chain lightning. Let's see, I will go with gonna go with a bit more vitality. I want to get up to 50. Give me your saber. Okay, we have a scroll of identify. Let's go ahead and pop that. Well, that wasn't identi unidentified. So sharp saber, increased chance of hitting extra damage. Yeah, we'll go ahead and go sword and shield. So we have a melee skill. switch to healing since we're doing a little bit of tanking now. We fight the butcher. It would be funny to watch. We're going to die to the butcher if we take the butcher on right now. Mainly because we don't have good skills for dealing with him. I don't remember what our shield actually does in this one. And yes, we do actually have a relatively slow attack compared to the warrior, so we do have to keep that in mind. We can get stun locked if we get surrounded by a bunch of garbage. Hey, a scroll of identify. Probably not going to use it. And this is generally how starting with the sorcerer starts out. You're mana restricted, so 
you do eventually need to pick up a sword and go for broke with it. Let's see. Yeah, we do have one scroll of identify. The book of the rejuvenation will put on four. Put that back in there so we don't accidentally identify something. We made the butch mistake of trying the butcher way too soon. Yeah, we I think we all did. Just normal Diablo. If I do Hellfire, I'm gonna play one of the Hellfire classes. But Hellfire is not canon, so I wasn't gonna include it on the going through the first three games thing. Ooh, I'm not a milkmaid. I am made of milk though, haha! -ha! Cause I'm cheesy! <laughs> Deal with my bad puns. Um, let's go ahead and doorway cheat. No, don't walk all the way back. Come through my doorway. The spinning blades will stop you. Sometimes you just gotta use the door. Moo 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 moo. This room's gonna have enemies in it. I see you behind me. Now run away, your friends are dying. You are still there. There we go. Got him. Okay, so we got charge bolt. Yay! Identify is fine. Town portal is fine. Healing is fine as well. But we got Charge Bolt. That is going to be generally my pick. So let's go ahead and make you F5. Spell-wise, it's going to be... Actually, Fire Bolt's cheaper because we got it higher level still. Doesn't love some good cheese. It's Gouda to me. Okay, so we've got a swarm in there, so let's go ahead and F5. No, 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 no. I think I killed him. <laughs> still, They're still going on killing things. I can hear them just murdering it. The bolts go on forever. Oh, we got a shrine there. Stone shrine. I'm going to just not look up the shrines, and I'm going to just touch them. I know that's dumb and probably the worst thing to do in this game, but that's how I'm going to play. We're going to touch all the shrines! Because <laughs> that's how we roll. We just... If it makes it so we can't equip our gear, fine. We'll go naked. Nothing else up that way that I see. Die, you fool. Playing the summoner that can't yet summon. I mean, we can get a summon eventually. I think you can get the elemental. I'm trying to think what all summons are in this. You have the elemental, you have Hydra, you have Golem. I think that's it. Hours of mana, refocus, renews. And it did what? Spell book. Uh... Didn't do anything in there. Didn't do anything in there either. Did we lose max mana or gain max mana or something? I'm not sure which. YOLO! <laughs> That's how the, that is how shrines should be. You don't know what they are. You're just coming across them in the middle of a dungeon. Oh, that's almost gone. Some slightly better armor. 
The acid beasts. Oh yeah, those are gnarly. Oh, we got another shrine there. Got a well here. Can I get to that spot, please? I mean, this works. There we go. Come on. Stop eating corpses and let me through. Ah, uh, the joys of purifying springs. Makes you come back to it every five years for a playthrough. I think this title really nails the voice acting. It does pretty good on that. I like how this just... I think it restores like one mana per click. <laughs> so you're just... Click, 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 click of anger. Um, we do not want Firewall on our bar. We will end up killing ourselves with that. Just in case anybody's curious. So there is going to be a whole other path around the other side. And we do have two scrolls of town portals, so we, we can afford trips back home. And we also have all of our stacks of gold. <laughs> uh, this room brings me dread. And I think it's intended to, judging by all the bodies. A hunch. Oh, I didn't hit him with it. I can 1v1 those guys pretty easy. These guys are a little bit more troublesome because they're fast. Yay, level up. Okay, so let's go with a bit more vitality. We wanted to get over 50. So that's going to be what we sit at there. And yes, I am fairly systematic at clearing out areas. Because I have had the bad experience of fighting something and then coming back to run away from them and being completely boned. Come on, you fools. <laughs> Charge Bolt is so great. I don't know why people wouldn't love it in this game. This one did atmosphere perfect. Got a book of heal other. Probably the least useful book because I I'm not set on the mode where I can actually play with other people. I have no room. You have room. You're just bad at optimizing your space. Now one thing we could do is use that book scroll of firewall. Drop it in his room and run. Well, walk quickly. Away from him. I think whenever we go to fight the Butcher, I will probably... And not that there's any reason for us to actually fight him. There really isn't. But whenever we do, I'll probably cheese him if I have the opportunity. We don't even have to use the freaking who's your what's gonna call it for staff. Speaking of which, you should probably sell that staff now. How are we looking on space? Not great. Yes, I'm keeping all this stuff to sell because I want more money without having to dupe. Because duping is boring to do and boring to watch. But yeah, the main reason I did multiplayer is so I can do the higher difficulties without having to mess with my character that much. Not enough mana. Not enough mana. What did I just... I didn't want to... I think I might have just accidentally used the heal scroll. I did. You remember stacking up items like brilliance to learn higher level spells? Yes. That's one reason why you use the town stash in single player. So you can just have a pile of brilliance items on the ground. 
Identify, resurrect. We can revive our non-existent party members. But yeah, after we get this shrine, we'll town portal back to home. Should have killed everything except for the one dude that's hiding behind the barrels over there. Oh, nope, there's one that survived down here, too. Um, they might actually end up block locking me. How is that thing still alive? Holy crap! I already, Jesus. That thing took so many bolts to the face. Okay, we have one scroll of healing. We have a scroll of lightning in case we need extra spell power. How did you get by me? These are squirreling around me. They're not supposed to be able to do that, I don't think. But yeah, I love just stacking up all the plus stat things to get something done. In a lot of games. It's not even just this one. Not exclusive to this. There's still enemies in there, and I know it. Hi, zombies. You guys are smart enough not to peek around the door. Killed six of them. They're immune to magic, which is Holy Bolt, I believe. Another scroll of resurrect. We do not need these. They sell for a decent amount of money. That's the main reason I'm picking them up. If memory serves. I don't remember for sure if they are. They're one slot scrolls. Hey guys, come on. This way. I know you saw me. Two. Come on. That is a spiritual shrine. I think that's two and two split kind of thing. Got rags. Don't need those. Which is abound when least expected. Oh. Ha. Huh. <laughs> for every empty slot in your inventory, you get a thing for that one. Wong. Cannot wait until we get a town portal scroll book. I mean, town portal book, though. Honestly, Warrior is the easiest one to do this with because he can equip so many things just straight from the start. And he does, he has an improved attack speed with weapons that are melee. He doesn't really have much to worry about in terms of getting, like, block locked. In search of answers. So what do we have? Book of Stone Curse. I mean, I will take it. Staff of Charge Bolt can go away. Scroll of Firewall can go away because we're not going to kill ourselves with that. Resurrect. Yeah, 62 gold. That's not bad considering when we're getting it. Now let's get just three. Identifies is fine. I think that's all we get from there. That should give us enough room to get the Stone Curse book, which just turns an enemy to stone. It's not exactly a, a maze balls thing, but it's nice enough. Okay, so let's back off the shack. It's the love shack. It's a little old place where we can get together and get mana. Most importantly, mana. Now, in terms of duping, yes, 5,000 gold is generally the go-to for it. Uh, of course, the elixirs are also on there. But you can get items that are worth wow. more than that, that I are better you? to dupe. So that, we need the cap off. Wow. What can I do for you? Sell items. We're just going to sell all the junk we're not wearing. Dagger's probably not going to be worth identifying. That one's kind of tempting. As a replacement for what we have. Whoa, 
What can I do for you? Yeah, let's grab this. What did you give us in its place? Axe of the Leech? Nope. Two-handed axes are not what we want to be doing. We want shield, sword and board, basically, oh, is the end game for, for every build except for the rogue. But this gives us three to every stat. It is very welcome. Use that one for duping. What ails you, my friend? Buy items. And I think you can get a book of resurrect if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. But that could just be my memory being the fogs. Nope, we failed. We failed horribly. There we go. And yes, yeah, you have to get it like right at the exact right time. Otherwise, it won't actually do it because if I remember correctly, it's counting as what you got off the ground as being in your hand at the same time as the potion. I forget the exact mechanics behind it. There are three different class classes in Vanilla Diablo 1. There is the Sorcerer that we're playing right now. The Rogue, which we already did a playthrough on over on Let's Play Everything, and that was way too slow. Um, and there is the Warrior. Warrior is kind of like the best one if you are just wanting to go through the game. Hey, Hugan. Hey, no, please dupe. And yes, we are duping because it's not even been removed from the GOG version, so... It's as designed swear I will eventually get this I'm just I'm clicking too early because I clicked too late before there we go that's actually a decent amount of money we'll do a few stacks of them I probably shouldn't do full 10 stacks of gold because that'll eat up a lot of my inventory space. People duping online would give players Zodiac gear? Yeah. I think everyone who played online for enough time ended up with a character that had all, like, perfect gear. And max stats because they would just keep churning out those potions. Eventually there were hacks and stuff on Battle.net that just... You didn't even need to do this duping method. You literally could just spawn stuff. But, eh. There we go. We have gold. We have a book. That's more than enough stuff to kind of take us through the rest of this for a little while. Welcome back, Hilton. Remember? Yeah. Sorry. Popping real quick. Ah, There we go. Okay, so town portal identify up there. No, you don't have tomes of identify. You do have books where you can learn to cast it. But... Hello, my friend. Stay a while. Hello, my You actually friend. have something for me to Stay No, you don't. And listen. I'm sad that's not yellow water. What that sounds so friend? wrong. Sorry. <laughs> uh, do we have full rejuves yet? We do not. So we'll go probably. Four healing and then a bunch of mana. Although against Big Nasty Butcher, we'll probably want more healing than this. But at the same time, I'm not going to mess with him just yet. I'm going to go down a few more levels. Kane's voice is a bit higher pitch. Yeah, because he wasn't smoking for years. Diablo, Lord of Greed. Forget if there is a Lord of Greed. I know that there's Lords of Deception and stuff like that. I would love Mana Shield, actually, now that I think about it. I don't think we had a scroll of that popping around, did we? Nope.
Yeah, the water quest is like my favorite one as far as just getting an early item. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, he you have to realize I meant smoking as is, he was like imprisoned and surrounded by smoke. We literally found him next to a bloody pit in the middle of town with fire everywhere. <laughs> he was smoked cane. Let's put it that way. Uh, let's see. Any other rooms in here besides Butcher? No. And this being a multiplayer instance, we actually can leave the game, re-enter, and get a different set of um, quests. <laughs> oh, let's see. Do I die to the butcher? Really don't wanna. And if I fight him, I'm gonna. Let's see, do we have any cheese spots? I think this is a solid wall over here, unfortunately. Yeah, this is solid. If it was a great, we could. We don't really have any greats anywhere. Because what you can do is get behind a grate where he can't seem to pathfind to the door, and you can shoot him through it, but unfortunately... We don't have any. The only great we have is this right here. Hmm. They simply left Kane alive for reasons. Yeah, I'm betting on death as well. Let's switch over to that. We'll actually be able to do that. I mean, we can walk back down here relatively quick. The trick is getting our stuff off the ground. Because it means we have to lead him away and then grab that. See how fast he attacks? Ah, no. I go away. This is a nope. Follow me. I wish I would have gotten some of those phasing scrolls. He keeps me from being able to cast because he's a fast enough attacker that it locks me out of it. Yeah, hit recovery is insane. And he'll actually reset your movement. <laughs> well, we're down here now. If we die, we're going to lose all our items because I don't think I can get past him. No, we got a spare scroll of town portal, though, so that's fine. Round one, run! <laughs> it's, it's no longer round one fight. It is round one, run away. We are indeed fresh meat. We are squishy. We're pre-tenderized. And I forgot I am currently on Firebolt, so we're going to be doing this the slow way because these things are resistant to fire. There's another full healing potion. Sweet. Level up. Let's go for... 
Let's move on. All you get is a stupid knife. Exactly. <laughs> you get an axe. You get a two-handed axe that I'm not going to use. You get the butcher's cleaver. Let's go for... Go for some vitality. And yes, I am running that. Trust your instincts. Attack him with a knife. And we do have a knife. Wow. <laughs> that is how strong we are. We can't even handle a single skeleton by ourselves. Uh, we have books in there. It's gonna be nice. I get chain lightning, the power will be infinite. Yes, exactly. We'll have power overwhelming. Till then, we have indirect fire. Not enough mana. Die, you fools. Definitely going to be slower going from here on out. Because we is squish. We didn't get mana shield so far. What is with the never ending flood of reds? That's actually a lot of reds and there's more up here. Archer, if we can. Thankfully, if we die, we can just come back down and get our stuff. Okay. We're going to town real quick. Panic spamming chain lightning saved your butt. So, yes. It is one of the most powerful spells. It is great. Let's check if we can get a better shield. What ails you, my friend? Once we start getting full rejuves, I'll be even happier, but I don't see that happening right away. <laughs> yeah, it's a classic. It is one of those games that... We really do. I would like to see reimaginings of it. And we could use a better weapon as well. Whoa, what can so I do buy premium you? items, Mace of Light, Sword of Light, Sword of Zest, Sword of Skill. Would not be bad. That's a one-hander as well. It gives us plus dex. Our current one is... Is our current one. Extra damage. One to eight, sharp saber. How long does Diablo 2 take place after Diablo 1? Well, I think it's I a few for? years. I could be wrong. As he traveled into the east, Marius had time to go insane. But I'm not actually entirely sure the timeline. Someone can probably pipe in with it, though. Expectations for Diablo 4, it'll be fine. That is the extent of my opinions on it. Can we just even buy a better basic shield? No, we can't even use a small shield. Because we don't have the strength. Two to six versus one to eight. I think we want the dexterity so we actually hit more. 62%. 60 oh no, that's just straight better. Okay. Some reason I thought the chance to hit would be Whoa, different. What can I do for you? All items. Goodbye. Yeah, I don't expect to fall in love with Diablo 4. I expect it to be fine. I expect it to be enjoyable. But I expect it to be filled with microtransactions. Yeah, MMOification. And I don't trust them whenever they say that you can't buy power. That is just 
Not something I believe coming from Blizzard's mouth. Let's see. Did we get new books? Nope. We haven't gotten there yet. Got a staff of phasing. Those are actually fairly handy. That's how you get away from people like the Butcher. I sense a soul Cast magic missile dimensions. into the darkness. Would be nice. But we're far too early to be getting amazing stuff just yet. Okay, so we have two scrolls of town portal. We'll be dropping when we get down there. Hope for the best. Uh, partial trading, supposedly. I don't know the specifics on how it's going to work, but there is supposed to be, like, partial trading. Oh, that's why there's a dick up to come here. Okay, so we want fire. Actually, no, he's a burning dead, isn't he? They're immune. Oh, they're resistant to fire. Okay. Us versus one skeleton. And we're burning through how many potions? Not enough mana. Not enough mana. Okay, jerk. Keep running. If we had a, if we switched to a club, we'd be a little bit better off. And yeah, our block speed on the, on the caster is terrible, by the way. You'll notice we go into like a half hour long animation of, oh no, I blocked. Some magic immunities. He gave me a unique short staff. Come on, game. What the hell? <laughs> Are you drunk? Kill the witch in Diablo 3 will never exist. Exactly. Uh, let's see. How's Diablo 2 ladder start going for you? It's going decent. Um, the streams are still up on the channel. They're just... The phasing staff. Only got 10 out of whatever charges. F5, F6, F7. I think that was everything he dropped, unfortunately. Some magic immunities. Yeah, it's because it's a boss. Unfortunately, there is no shift click in here. And what did I have for dinner? I had a leftover hamburger and potato skins. Homemade potato skins. So they're not fried or anything. They're just straight up baked and fairly tasty. Bacon and cheese on old. I do not have a spell ready. Why did it not automatically there? Can I actually kill these guys with fire? I don't think so. Yeah, they're immune. To, they're resistant to that. Can I heal, please? Yeah, phasing can be useful. For example, it could get me in there. But it could also throw me over here and fight something that's going to be a royal pain in the ass. Tainted Shrine, cool. That was not worth a unique staff, by the way. I've found that before, I think, and I never ended up using it. But that's fine. Oh, there's a club. 
Unfortunately, it's not a magic club. Why are you not dying? Yeah, things are going to be a little bit more durable, and I'm going to need to get higher level spells to actually deal with them, unfortunately. That almost just killed me in just like a fraction of a second. Can you die already? No, Jesus. No. <laughs> I swear to God, they're taking way more hits than I think they should be. Okay, so we leveled up. Let's go ahead and get some more magic. Because we need to get that book out of our inventory as well. Okay, let's see. What sh what's in here? This should be a book. Ace? Yeah, it is. Scroll of Identify is fine. Another book of Holy Bolt. Maybe we should be using Holy Bolt. Let's see. I am going to go ahead and, of course, heal there. Sure. They're actually, I think they're magic immune, so this is not going to do anything to most of them. Nothing? Nothing. Wow. Wowzers. Okay. And yeah, these guys are just annoying. Another holy bolt. I wish I could assign... How many of you are there? Good lord. Not enough mana. Not enough mana. Not enough mana. They're very aggro on me because I keep hitting them with these. Oh, it's King Leoric. Hi. Why are you out? The crap. What the hell? Why is he out? He's supposed to be in a secondary area. That explains why there's swarms of them, but... The fuck? The orc has his own special area. Well, that explains a lot. I'm going to need... I'm going to require far more healing. Like, let's just spawn a King Leoric in the middle of this. He'll be fine. What ails you, my friend? Lord. Run, Force, run! <laughs> like, let's throw the bosses right on his face. Oh, let's see. The fuck. Exactly. Now on the rogue playthrough, he was in his own little cage. Because I remember that we had to fight through um, the swarm of never-ending spawning enemies. So we just got free roaming bastard here. The explanation is shenanigans! Exactly. The explanation is holy bolt. We're gonna die here. Calling it now. I could, it could be just misremembering multiplayer being is different. That's the main thing I think might be a thing here. Uh, ooh, yes. Ha, 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 finally. Okay. I 
sends a soul in search of answers. We are totally selling that staff. Proc fade. <laughs> I wish I could. Don't try to fight him. But I just got a staff of mana shield. Oh, what a staff of mana shield means for me. I'm actually going to drink all these. Staff of mana shield. I sense a soul in search of answers. Means bastard's gonna have to eat through my mana and life. Think how it's neat how the devil figure is holding the health orb and the angel's holding the man orb, but it's the opposite in D2. Yep. D2R. Staff of mana shield. We're going to have F5, 6. And if we die, we're losing all of our stuff. No, no pressure. Actually, we have F7. Eat it, Leoric. Well, <laughs> Power frickin' overwhelming. <laughs> Sorry. There's a thing. Don't ever doubt the power of Mana Shield and Holy Bolt. <laughs> now, if only it was that easy for... He's probably got garbage. Hey, high durability. Just what we don't. You were in town for 10 minutes. <laughs> it's over 9,000! See... I love Holy Bolt. Um, I don't think Holy Bolt hits the Butcher. Butcher's... He might be Demon. I don't think so. Okay. I'll think about Butcher. I was seriously surprised that Leoric was down here. Now we don't need healing potions pretty much at all. He's a demon. Then it should hurt him. I don't know if we can stagger him with it. I know we can stagger Leoric, but... This way. Can you stop blocking me there, my little dude? In D1, it's undead and demons. You can actually kill Diablo with it. That's the main reason I wanted it before. Let's grab Firebolt.
Let's see, six, seven, and then we'll have energy shield whenever we swap to that. Yeah, it can kill Diablo. It's actually one of the kind of cheap ways to get rid of him besides like Armageddon. you drinking all of our mana potions because now we have not necessarily immortality but durability you need to kill your little friends Oh, I just used up my derp. I need to watch my mana a little bit when I'm doing that. Mortal Kombat. I mean, I can try it. If we die, we die. Let me finish clearing out these guys, then I'll try to go handle him. And finally, we got that garbage out of our inventory. Okay, we can come back down for these guys. It's not like we're going to lose that much if we die. We're strong enough to clear the first two levels again anyway. Recoup most of our losses, and you don't lose your spells anyway. We want to see if Holy Bolt hurts the Butcher. Oh yeah, I have to recast Energy Shield on each floor. Leave me alone for a second, big dude. You believe. I don't. Nope. It doesn't hurt him. It doesn't hurt him. <laughs> uh, can we go to F6? Well, he just broke our armor. The spirits and he of dropped the rags. Flesh of souls. Indestructible, plus 10 vitality. Sure. <laughs> I mean, I'm actually surprised. He's supposed to drop the cleaver. I keep for... Although this... I think this might be an alternate drop for him. But it's indestructible. We are not going to lose our rags. Yeah, I, it's been decades since I played multiplayer on this, so I definitely could be misremembering how multiplayer works as far as drops go. Yep. Of course, our old armor had plus three all stats, so... Yeah, that might have been a little bit better, <laughs> but it's fine. Okay. We've killed two bosses. And watch those. <laughs> Man, flesh of our allies, I guess, is what it would be, because it's not the flesh of our enemies. I 
do not have a spell ready. Hi, guys. Did you really come... Oh, you came up this way. Got a door there. <laughs> we didn't become bacon. We did not become part of the armor. Oh, hi, guys. I need more spells. Don't need a short bow. Gloves. We've got pains in the butt. Got flying numpties. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. There we go. I wish I could rebind controls, but you can't. Gonna stream till Diablo? Probably not until Diablo. Uh, my back cannot handle quite that, because that, it, even if I was rushing, that would be a good six, seven hours stream. I can do two to three. <laughs> I'm supposed to do two. But I will probably do a bit longer that, considering we kind of have been putzing around a little bit. We'll go, we'll clear out these sides first. Hi, guys. Bats. All the bats. They have such a familiar squeal when they die. Hi, guys. Come on this way. Can't shut the door because there's corpses in the way. So we gotta hold the door. We, we gotta hold door this. Oh, and I just realized I destroyed my own mana shield. We should be fine. We have plenty of life. Uh, have you ever been doing something at work and realized two hours in that you were doing something completely wrong? Yep. Or that I told somebody how to do something completely wrong and had to go fix it. Done that before, too. Eventually, it does all get fixed, though. Why I've never understood people being... Unless it's a life or death situation, like you're working medical field... I don't see the reason to be quite so panicky about, oh, something isn't exactly how it's supposed to be. <laughs> we need to panic. Oh, we don't. Just fix it and go on. But I will end up beating this game. It's just not going to be beaten tonight. If you meant, like, if I'm going to stream the entire game, yes. And I hit the wrong button. Actually, let's go this way first. I want to clear out these little side areas before going down the big exposed hallway. I'm really wondering how Leoric spawned there. That scared the pooples out of me. Gonna lie, I clenched. <laughs> Sorry, not gonna lie. I'm, I clenched. Clenched tight. Come on. Oh, yeah, we have a shrine here. Divine shrine. Drink and be refreshed. Really, it just gives us two potions. Sweet. Take that in case I run out of mana again. <laughs> Generally speaking, though, if you stop and think about it, for the vast majority of our lives, we do things wrong and then have to fix them later. Because you learn by making mistakes. Sure, you'll get some things right the first time, but most of the things, no. <laughs> no, you won't. Dark Alliance? Um, I could. I'd probably just end up emulating it. But just to make life easier. Because 
much easier to run on an emulator than it is to... Unless you're talking about, like, the brand new one. But yeah, it's much easier to emulate it than to... Hi, guys. Let's go ahead and punch through them. Wow, there's a lot of you boys. And we keep doing that, because I'm a dingus. It's gonna cost us a ton of gold. But yeah, I can I can play through Dark Alliance. I think probably after Diablo 4 releases, we'll we'll be doing Diablo 4 streams, of course. I'll be doing Diablo 2 game coverage, of course. But I think as far as the channel goes, I think I am going to branch out whenever that happens. And cover other games as well. Because I do play a lot of games, as you guys can probably tell if you watch the game sampler shelf on the channel. You'll be able to see that, hey, there's a lot of games in there. Aren't on the main channel. Can I have mana? Uh, you're talking about the first one you think someone mentioned on the stream the other night. <laughs> oh, what do we have? Yeah, we're down to one charge on that. Let's go ahead and drink one of those. I'm going to move the rest up here to one, two, three, four. I have to say the belt in Diablo 2 is one thing I miss a lot. And after we get Hydra or Chain Lightning, we will be much better off, by the way. Because once we get those, we can just start nuking with right click. Go ahead and get up here. We can just, yeah, go nuclear. Yeah, this belt is super clunky because you can't even, like, shift click into it. Now, the portal, you think it metal slime from Dragon Quest? Oh, God, metal slimes. I have memories of metal slimes because I, I was a big JRPG fan. Still am. Metal slimes are definitely memories. Town portal scroll. Go ahead and grab Firebolt. Get rid of these little bastards first. There's another one right there. One shot, one kill. Oh, Morningstar, I don't think we have the strength for it. Nope. Otherwise, that might be better than Sword for us. If we can get, like, a Morningstar of the stars. This is straight mouse clicking. Any other Persona games? Yes. I'm not a huge Persona player. I am more for SMT, but... Octopath Traveler 2 have not played it yet. I played the first one. haven't played that one. It's a little bit pricey for me right now. If they send me a press key, I'm 100% covering it, but... We are really... Whoever said that we're getting all the Holy Bolt books? <laughs> you were right! <laughs> you were right. Oh, we have two shrines next to each other. Tempting fate, tempting fate. Uh, this one is gold, I believe. Which is actually a very inconvenient shrine. We have to do this.
If it, if it gave me 5,000 in each stack, I would 100% be for that. Yep, another holy. Here comes our last shrine. I don't remember what this one does. Those who are last may yet be first. Um, don't remember what that one does. Wanting to say it might have been something durability-wise. Hey, I, I am much happier with Holy Bolt Overload than what we were getting with the Rogue. Which was nothing. We got jack shit on the Rogue. Oh. At least it's not Resurrection Tomes. I am going to get these out of my belt before I accidentally click them. We have one of each potion, thank you. Yeah, knockback in this does not kid. Especially enemy knock, like knocking you around with reactions. Holy crap, does it hurt. Thank you for the channel super chat thing. Oh, the tip. I appreciate it. It helps out a great deal. It really does. That shrine is multiplayer only. What does it do? Out of curiosity. Yeah, user, no effect. Others, plus one to a random attribute, minus one. Oh, it's for everybody but me. <laughs> it's I, I always forget just how trolly the shrines are in this. And I don't mean gummy bears. Actually, no, trolly's gummy worms. You missed. Joik. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's not a dead end. Usually this is just dead endsville. Got some tomes there. I think we have to go up and around to get them. I think he dropped something. I think he dropped a mana potion. Stop moving. Thank you. Die. Again. Changes there any other characters. Also watch out on this level for those yellow zombie boys. They take one HP permanently on every hit. I thought that was further down. But yes. Once we once we get into the catacombs, I will be paranoid about staying away from things. Because they will suck the living life. Like living life. They will suck everything out of you. I think that's... Nope, it's just a dead captain. Come on. Berserker boy. Go heal other. Doesn't really do anything but replenish mana for me. And a scroll of identify. Catacombs, I think, is the one with the freaking black death zombies. Also, the blind quest is another you remember being cool. Oh, with all the, like, invisible dudes? Yes, that one was awesome. Um, Halls of the Blind is a great one. The one that gives you Hydra is amazing, too. Versus Undead Life. Exactly. How's it going, devil? How's it going, handsome? Um, yep, doing D2 streams as well. Keep them relatively short so things don't go haywire. But other than that, we're pretty good. I've got to walk all the way around this way. Ooh. I'm going to go through the town portal and restock on mana potions before we go back. Got junk to sell. Junk to identify. 
We'll sell that. It's worth money, at least. Going through with the sorcerer is a challenge. Did I break my sword? No, we have it in our sheath. Okay. It, it blended in. Oh, birthday. Happy wow. birthday. What can I do for you? Let's see. Repair items. Yeah, we want to repair the saber. I think Claymore is two-handed. Might not be. It might be one-handed. We don't have the stats for it anyway. Stay a while and listen. Claymore of the Sky. That's going to be worth identifying. Deadly Bow. Well, what can I do for you? So sell the Morning Star. Uh, that's actually tempting to keep. But no, we'll get rid of it. Steal for humans. Okay, do you think I should change your YouTube name to Dr. Schlappen von... Odd. It's like, that's such a Scanlan name. <laughs> Did you draw the butcher or the water... I drew the butcher. He gave me some armor instead of his axe, which is groovy. Uh, Topaz... Ooh. That's actually... Thing is, Topaz rope can break. Our lump of flesh glued to our chest here can't. <laughs> it's, it's so nasty. <laughs> what ails you, my friend? Let's see. Do we want to buy anything from you? That is a negative. We'll go sell some of these healing potions and some of these scrolls. Yeah, we kind of just take our time going through because that's how I play games. Enjoy relaxing, exploring. I think I've gotten it before, but I don't remember using it. Yeah, this is vanilla. This is... This doesn't even have Hellfire. Roll of Inferno goes away... Keep the mana shield. Buy items. Now let's see what books we have. Do we have books? We do not have books. Not giving me books. He's a jerk. Ah. <sighs> Hello, how's it going? I sense a soul in search of answers. I, I am a soul in search of books. <laughs> Give me all of your books. I want to build a library of Tristram. I know you have them in your shack. You pull them out randomly. Yeah, I sold my healing potions. I sense a soul in search of answers. They spam Audrey for a certain staff. I think Telestaff is the worst thing. Oh, God. Yes, I have seen speedruns of it. Got all the books. Let's see. I'm sorry I hate a disorganized inventory. It drives me bonkers. So we are going to organize it ever so slightly. Building a library in Tristram might be a bad idea. Possibly. Remotely. Eh, purging evil doesn't seem like a bad occupation in Tristram, but that's about it. Beyond that, I would question your sanity. Oh, wait. Ha, <laughs> ha. All of us lose ours. Kane is the only person left in this place after all of this that has even like an inkling of sanity and even he's a bit screwy and I forget if each thing is four levels or five it's four I 
Apparently, Cain found true love in Tristram. Let's see. Ow. I'm glad I cast that. Fine. Bonk. <laughs> You want to be a tough guy. Better have better have thicker skin than a skeleton. <laughs> that sounds tacky. I guess it doesn't actually hurt demons. I could have sworn it did. I know it hurts Diablo. Because these guys are 100% demons. So I guess I was wrong earlier. But I know for certain it hurts Diablo. Imagine a D2 mod where you can descend all the way into hell from Tristram Church. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. Put a red portal there. I mean, other than having to assemble the maps and get the game to play nice with them, it would be entirely feasible. Let's see. That is probably a book of knowledge right there. I'm being a little bit careful on spending my mana here because, yeah, if I am not, I will end up losing my mana shield and having to recast it, which means I have to spend a ton of gold repairing that. This over here is going to be a skeleton. Where are you at? I know you were shooting at me. I love how that's just one-shotting them. Let's see. You got into a bet with your 17-year-old, his long hair against your long beard. First level 99 solo hardcore and D2R win. That's been going for six months. Yeah, that's a, that's a long one. Are you doing it single player or online? Yeah, you don't really descend into hell. You Well, sort of, you do. You descend and um, I think you teleport to hell in the very last floor through the pentagram. So it came to be that there was a great revolution within the burning hells known as the Dark Exile. The lesser evils overthrew the three prime evils and banished their spirit forms to the mortal realm. The demons Belial, the Lord of Lies and Asmodan, the Lord of Sin, fought to claim rulership of Hell during the absence of the Three Brothers. All of Hell polarized between the factions of Belial and Asmodan, while the forces of the High Heavens continually battered upon the very gates of Hell. I wish Diablo 2 did more of these books, by the way. Because I, I actually do appreciate those as far as just being kind of cool little things. I mean, Diablo 2 originally was going to be like Rogue. Turn base and everything. Oh, anymore. can't carry anymore. You, you, you will carry more. You will read that book. We read every book we find, damn it, even if we can't use it. We now no longer need scrolls of town portal because we are that badass. I don't know whether I'd consider Rogue itself actually mainstream. Despite the fact that now roguelites take their name after them. Yeah, there's the Countess book. Um... Come on, guys. Eek on through to the other side. Come on, bats. Oh, they're blinks. That's why. Okay, now to get rid of Skelly Boy.
One thing I like about having the well here. It's a clicker. Okay, level up. Uh, more magic. There's the Iswal. Uh, is it a book? I thought Iswal was um ghost. Yeah, Iswal's a ghost. Unless I'm unless you're thinking of Diablo three. Diablo three, I think, had one for Iswal. Nothing there. Oh, hey, hey potion of rejuvenation. Yay. I, I love the full rejuves. I don't like the regular ones. Yeah, there's definitely way less. Diablo 3 does do some book lore thingies, but they're like little things that pop up in the bottom right. I don't know why I still feel compelled to pick up the healing potions, by the way. I suppose I could use them to dupe the mana potions. That would be kind of sad. Isn't there a book that you have to read to activate Iswal? Um, no. No, there's no book for Iswal. You can talk to... Um, I'm just completely blanked on his name. Archangel of Justice. Pretty much... A key figure in Diablo 3. I'm forgetting his freaking name. <laughs> Why am I forgetting his damn name? Tyrael. Holy crap. <laughs> Senile ass. <laughs> yes, Tyrael. <laughs> sitting here staring at my screen trying to pick up gold trying to remember it's like i know this <laughs> it's somewhere in there brain <laughs> good god oh lordy diablo 3 has diablo 3 sort of has notes more than books but yeah It it does it brings it back. That's actually a way I like seeing floor delivered. Hi, Bat Boys. It's Batman. Oh, there's a bunch of you. Oh, it's because there's a unique pack. Yay! Go ahead and swap back to this. I'm mostly just trying to get away from this skelly bro. There's Moonbender. He is immune to that, I think. So uh, let's try for stone skin. Does spell damage scale with your stats in this game? No, it scales with uh, skill level. Like, if we come into the book thing, you can see spell level 5, that's going to determine your spell damage, so no matter what your stats are, it's always going to be as good as what you find. Bow of Vim! Oh, God. For, isn't that 
Isn't Vim the name of the villain in Tu 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 Felix and the Cat? Or Felix where he has the magical sack. Lord Vim or something like that. Duke of Vim. How does the canyon in this game go again? All, do all three of them take make it down to Diablo together? They all split up and go crazy, get possessed. They go down to the bottom. They kill Diablo as a group. And then the warrior Aiden sticks the thing in his skull to try and contain Diablo for reasons. Because, you know, smart hero... I guess the warrior would be the dumbest of the three. <laughs> he has the lowest magic stat. Vim is a text editor for Linux too? Ah. I never used that one. Vim is everything and everywhere. Vim is life. Vim is Shrek. God dang it. Need more books. Is what I need. Wow, I completely whiffed. Whiffed again. Just trying to hit the one skeleton in this pack of numpties. I am lucky my energy shield didn't go down just then. They all slay Diablo, but Aid and the warrior takes the soul stone. He becomes Diablo, the sorcerer becomes the summoner, and Rogue becomes Blood Raven. Yep. Pretty much spot on. Didn't they retcon to make Leoric his, I mean, his, yeah. I don't think it was, it might have been Leoric's lost son. Or prodigal son. Because Aiden d is from Tristram. But I forget the details behind it. Like why he left and all that other stuff. I am missing with firebolts. Why? Ow. Did you just charge at me, you bastard? The joys of holy bolt. Holy crap. <laughs> I so missed it on the rogue. Come here, dark one. Yeah, they run away and they're annoying. But yeah, we're doing pretty solid here. Love the dark horror aspect of Diablo. You first played this on PC, then later on PlayStation 1. Both fun. The, the PlayStation 1 is... What? Oh... Yeah, I, I wouldn't say it's extremely rare. It's just that people don't want to get rid of it. It's one of those things. It was published by EA, by the way. And I'm sorry to hear that about it. I, I am lucky enough to have held on to mine. I know it's super expensive now. But it's kind of like the Pokemon effect. Because Pokemon games are actually super common, but they're so expensive because people just don't let them go. People were hoarding them for a while. Um, I will 100% use any strat in this game. <laughs> Door strat is one of them. Hiding is another. Hydras are yet another. If I get Guardian, I'm going to be so happy. Die, fiend. Hey, I've gone most of the floor without ditching my energy shield. 
I'm I'm content for now. But no, I will use any strategy at my disposal. Bonk. <laughs> uh, Guardian quest is random, yes. I mean, we could just keep reloading the game until we get it. I forget which ones it's exclusive to, but... It is one of those that it, it's random as to whether you get it or not. Uh, it's random as to whether you get the... Crap, I'm trying to remember which one it is. Hi, Chargers. At least these guys aren't as bad as the freaking Rhino Chargy guys. Yes, instant potions are a beautiful thing. But they also end up with you using all your potions. Very, very quickly. So there is a hole over there as well. One I don't want to see is Garbad. I don't like doing the Garbad quest because it's a lot of freaking backtracking. It's a bit gross. Okay, so that path is done. Next path is going to be top left. We'll go back around and do the bottom part. Because I think have a feeling this is going to connect back into that. Just a hunch. Your little brother spent $70, $75 on Pokemon Platinum earlier this year. Told him he was crazy and to just emulate it. Uh, for some people, having the physical copy is important. And I can understand that. I have been a collector, actually. But I gave up collecting because, frankly, when COVID hit, everything got overpriced beyond, like, reason. Like, ridiculously so. Oh, no. I just got rid of my energy shield. Probably remember to get my mana back up before I do that. Yeah, don't you have to go down two levels before he does anything to you? Something like that. I know that we had to keep wandering back to him. And eventually he'll just fight you, and it's usually a really crappy, just basic magic item. Ah, you fool. There you go. I should probably go check if the... Oh, God, the sign quest is up. Trying to remember what it's called. It's dr not Drognan. Drognan's on the brain. The innkeeper. Whatever his bloody name is. His sign. Favorite Final Fantasy game 1 to 10 is 6. <laughs> Hands down. 6 is the best. There was. I mean, the rest of them are good. Don't get me wrong, they're good in their own rights. Just six is the best. Got the best kind of overarching story. Ogden, there you go, thank you. I am lucky to remember my own name, so. <laughs> Let's see. Do we clear out over, let's clear out over here first. A lot of people will pick seven because that's what they started on because that's when the series got really super popular, but. Ooh, a boss skeleton. I think his name was maybe the dead. 
No, I can guarantee you, you were certainly dead. Monster is snot spill. Think he's a golem reference? Probably. There are a lot of references in Diablo in general. Come on, you guys. Come to the door. Go, we got him down, and we don't even have to worry about our mana because we just leveled up. Dingus dropped some rags. Seriously. I mean, I'll identify it. They're white rags. The white queen. Okay. Don't have any more potions in our inventory. No enemies in cross room. Only downside is I actually have to reach up there to get the... I'm going to identify that. Steel hammer. Chance to hit up pretty high. We should actually get some strength up then. That is a few levels away. That is four levels away. Ow. Does energy shield consume two mana per health? No, I think it's one-to-one. -one. In Diablo 2 it does. But this one's mana shield, not energy shield. Da -da -da -da. Distinction! It's a very minor distinction, but distinction! But having a hammer would actually be kind of nice because that helps us. We can melee undead as well. We could keep a damage spell on our thing. As opposed to just holy bolt. Ow. Fighting all the traps. Straight into my face. Like, get out of my way. I'm leaving. Okay, you. And I love that we do one shot them with Holy Bolt, but it, it would be nice to not have to be juggling spells quite as much as we do. The only thing more skill points does is lower the mana cost. Yep. Except we don't actually have this spell. We have it as a stave. A stave. I don't think she can sell it for several levels. So it's going to be a while before we start seeing it. Uh, if your Final Fantasy VII is your favorite, are you basic? You love all of them up through 10, but that was your first playthrough. Generally speaking, people who, whenever you select your best Final Fantasy or your favorite Final Fantasy, it's usually just based on which one you played first. Um, I started on Nintendo with, like, the original Final Fantasy, but Final Fantasy VI is what got me hooked on the series. Final Fantasy VII, I played all the way through multiple times. I enjoyed it. It's a good game. It's just... I preferred Final Fantasy VI for its story. Final Fantasy VII's materia system has always been cool to me, and that's, the oddly enough, the one thing that I really like about Path of Exile, too. And yes, I will forever call Path of Exile skill system materia. I don't give a crap. If it offends people, they can get over it. Okay, we should be able to kill these guys with this bit of mana, but we may have to go back to town and replenish. I am sad that we don't have, like, passive mana regen in this. Final Fantasy 1 is weird. Yeah, it is fairly hard in some respects. 
And we are about to lose our energy shield. I'm fine with this. We'll town portal up to town. Because we have the spare scrolls. We don't need to use our mana to cast it. And then we'll finish clearing this out. Final Fantasy 1 is hard if you don't actually know the mechanics of it. <laughs> Especially if you run into Warmech. Warmech will screw your crap up if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, we'll check if he has. The curse of our king is past. Greetings, good master. Welcome. Nope, he didn't give me a sign quest. I still think Final Fantasy 2 was the more fault? interesting of the in regular Nintendo ones. See, oh yay, we got full rejuice. Yes, we will be hoarding full rejuice. It's actually a really tempting weapon. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Uh, I should be duping in a little bit. Well, what can I do for you? The Final Fantasy 1 is a pile of wet spaghetti on a thin paper plate. Uh, I wouldn't go quite that far. But it wasn't as addicting as Final Fantasy 6. The one that the one that gets a lot of praise that I'm not that big of a fan of is Final Fantasy 4. Final Fantasy 4 fights me. Valiant Shield could definitely use a better shield. Oh yeah, we need to repair our stuff. What can I do for you? But I like the skill system in Final Fantasy 2, where you use it to level it up. I also liked that about Dungeon Siege. Final Fantasy 12. Final Fantasy 12, I had fun with for about like half my time with it. But by the time I got about like three quarters of the way through, which, yeah, I ended up just getting frustrated and bored and I just charged through the end of it. But it had a lot of cool ideas. The charge stave, yes. As soon as we get a book of mana shield, we'll be good. Buy that. Not going to be using Inferno a lot, but it's nice to have. I sense a soul in search of answers. I would like Fireball. I would like... I, Inferno is fine. We will keep one scroll of Town Portal for emergencies. Uh, let's see. Can't complain about any of the games up until 8. Playing through 8 was like trying to read past the boring part of the middle of a decent book. Final Fantasy 8... Oh, I didn't mind the story on it that much. The thing that got to me on it was the level scaling. Because, like, leveling up actually made the game harder. You couldn't just grind your way past something that was beating the crap out of you, which kind of flew contrary to a lot of JRPGs at the time, which made it kind of annoying for me. But other than that, I was fine with it. Uh, Western style gunslinger Diablo. Trying to think if there is one. I know that there's like samurai and stuff, but I don't think there's a Western one. There's sci fi. Six, seven, nine, ten, and twelve. You play each of them through uh, usually once a year at least. Ah, cool. Have I played the Dragon Quest series? Yes. Not all of them, but enough of them. 
Is Inferno F tier in this game? It's way better than it is in Diablo 2, but it's not it's not great. It's an AoE. Um, four and five were good as well. But four four did not do great for me. It's mediocre. Because it, it just feels disjointed. Five is the one where you have jobs. It's the second one you had jobs in, but I doubt you played three. Um, I have not beaten Mass Effect, believe it or not. So I can't really comment on it. I like the idea of it, but I have a feeling it would make me motion sick nowadays. <laughs> I need to go back and try them out. The problem is I hate using Origin. I have deleted it from my system each time I've had to use it. Same with the Uplay thing. I really hate having to dual launcher. <laughs> it, it bothers me on like a deep level. Okay, we have the stairs down. We have a little bit left to clear over here. So we're going to do that first. We're playing this like we're playing it solo, but I know that we'll be able to do other stuff. Final Fantasy VIII, you finally finished it for the first time a couple years ago. It was really tough for you to keep your interest in it in between don't level up mechanics and really just everything. That and farming for the damn um, draws. Get your draws in order. Because you could miss some. You could miss summons and stuff like that. Pretty easily on it. But JRPGs are one of the directions that I am looking at shifting towards with the other content on the channel. I'm going to keep it around RPGs, and I will always have action RPG stuff on here because, A, I enjoy it. It's easy for me to get into and play. Oh, and I'm using the wrong spell on these guys. Hi, guys. Here's some fire bolts for you. Our first piece of jewelry. Bring me more jewelry, Harold. Buy me more jewelry. Ring of the mind. More mana. And we have an increased chance to hit. Our chance to hit is probably god awful, yes. No, our chance to hit is nice. <laughs> nice. Um, triple triad. And I think they actually made a standalone triple triad, oddly enough. But I don't think it was particularly well received. Because I have a feeling they did cash grab on it, because unfortunately Square has been doing that lately. Oh, what staff did we get? Composite staff. Questionable mods. And we are done with this floor. The FOMO, fear of missing out part of Final Fantasies, gives you anxiety during playthroughs. So many good items and summons that can be missed. I'm kind of weird whenever it comes to that. Starting out in any JRPG, I will, I will scour the earth for every drop of goodness able to be found, even if it's just spare berries in the middle of a field. By about halfway, I stopped doing that. <laughs> but that's mostly out of just being tired of it. And that's why I miss a lot of really good items. Because that's about when they throw them in. And here we are in the catacombs. That's straight down to level 6. I was hoping that would be the stairs up, but it is not. So this is the area that can uh, wreck our face. Oh, these guys are not going to die to those, but that's at least an okay enemy to find. It's the ghostly enemies.
What did he drop? He always drops something. He dropped a Staff of Inferno. Okay. Go ahead and read that scroll and get it out of the way. I might end up just going back to town real quick. And I need to be cautious in here because I don't know if we spawned the Zombles. It stinks down here. A foul stench of death. I don't mind the hiddens. They're irritating it to some extent because they pop up like that one right there. And I think they, if I remember correctly, they heal whenever they're invisible. I could be wrong. Hey, Justin, how's it going? And thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, stone clans, I can do it. Should be, yeah, a few more in here. Goat shrines are interesting, by the way. Because they will drop, um... Random mods. Yeah, no alt makes it a pain in the butt to find items. Yeah, no stash. Yep. And since this is a multiplayer save, if I drop it on the ground, it's gone. <laughs> Goat Shrine Gamble. Hours of Mana Refocus Renews. Always forget what that one does. Oh, uh, let's see. Will Succubus be in terms of service? No. You can't see anything. This is very pixelated. <laughs> they might as well be wearing a skin suit. And also, for those of you wondering, Dia I mean, not Diablo, YouTube isn't anti-nudity, oddly enough. Like, I could do life drawing studies on here and be perfectly fine. I would get restricted for that video, but it wouldn't be against terms of service. That's actually a strategy of a number of art channels whenever starting out to get early attention is how to draw boobs. And I wish I was joking, but I'm not. <laughs> it is actually effective. Yeah, we got an early stone curse from uh, Adria. The witch! She got me stoned. <laughs> We might just stick with Firebolt down here. I'm going slow because I don't want to run into freaking um, the bastards that eat my stats. And if I do run into them, I want to be able to stop them before they get close to me. I need to learn how to draw some booba real quick. I mean, there's literally life drawing courses on YouTube. I don't think most people realize that, but there are. They just won't show up in your recommended for obvious reasons. And you have to be logged in to see them. Just like you have to be logged in to chat on the stream. Because, yeah, I had to set it up for subscribers only because porn bots. That and those make $750 a day bots. Those are another one that's the scourge of YouTube. Arr. 
Uh, Infravision. Ooh. I mean, we'll pop Infravision. It's always fun. <laughs> For those of you wondering what it does. Predator Vision. And I chugged that mana potion at just the wrong time. Didn't realize I was that close to a level up. Let's go ahead. Let's start getting our strength up so we can actually get a better weapon. I would like to have something to fall back on if I run out of mana. We are walking to enemy's death. Honestly, all the classes can kill pretty fast. We just come equipped with Firebolt to start with. And no, I can't just hold down the button and have it auto kill them, unfortunately. There is no right click to win in this. This is, you have to fire deliberately. I see you up there. And he dropped a helmet for me. Cap. He dropped a cap for my ass. Cute. These guys are actually quite irritating because they're resistant to me, I think. Die, foul wing, please. Am I going to die to foul wing even though I killed the butcher? Get away from me. I have to get away from him. He's going to charge at me. But I don't think I actually have the resources to take him down just yet. So we're going to... We will stone skin him in just a minute. Have a good one, Hillwin. Does the source continue to swing as he levels up, or does he stop swinging eventually? He will continue to swing. Fire res 75%. Yeah, that's what it felt like. We do have lightning. It's just I don't have it on my hotkeys. We'll get those identified before we go repairing them. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. A fine staff. And a crimson staff. If she draw, if she has a book of freaking lightning for me, I will 100% grab it. I will sit there duping for it. And yes, full rejuvenation potions are awesome. You also have to check at the bottom to see if he has any elixirs. How does magic find in this work? Dumb luck. <laughs> For the most part, you're not going to find anything to like boost your chance of getting uniques. That said, you can farm specific enemies for specific drops. Like King Leoric, you farm for the crown. Butcher, you car uh, farm for the butcher's cleaver. That kind of stuff. I sense a soul in search of answers. Okay, let's see if we have book. No books. So we are going to sell those staves. I think we're good there. Need to recharge staves because already good. 
a slice. Okay, I did not. <laughs> I was about to say, did I sell that? I sense okay, now to buy full sense. mana potions. And we will swap them in just a minute. Yes, I am filling up my inventory with them, because we're going to need them. Yonk. Come on. There we go. Yeah, once you sell, it's gone for Gouda. There are no bring it back, please. It does not exist. Okay. As soon as we go down, we energy shield and then we switch over to stonkers. We will put on that on F8. And then we'll switch over to lightning and mess them up. So that's going to replace our F5. We can swap to it quick. Yeah, 90s action RPGs were unforgiving. I wouldn't say they're so much brutal. Yeah, I got the town portal spell. It's right there. I, I, I buy that one, like, right off the bat, if at all possible. Not enough mana. Sir, sir, please. <laughs> Some of the bosses are just ouch. Have I tried to play Fallout 1 and Fallout 2 or like Ultima? Fallout 1 and Fallout 2, yes. Ultima, no. I haven't actually beaten Fallout though, so that is on my list of games that I do want to actually get through and do properly by. The Bow of Plenty. Has plenty of durability. Good God, 135. Doesn't do a lot of damage, though. We should be buying more Identify Scrolls if we were smurred about it. If we were smurred board. And yes, I am 100% going to be using Infravision down here. Go ahead and swap that back to you. We have six, uh, yeah, we're good. Am I ready for Diablo 4? Yeah. <laughs> Am I like super hyped about it? No. <laughs> it's one of those things where I, I'm i looking forward to it. It's going to be a fun game. It's just, I'm not looking forward to the microtransactions making me disappointed in humanity again. Okay. There was something that ran off over there, and he's still alive, I think. I don't think we killed Mr. Happy over here. I guess we did. Is there a second one down there, or was I just flickering over the same one? I think I was flickering over the same one. Okay, Flesh Clan. Me versus Flesh Clan, sword versus sword. Nope. Magic versus face. 
We keep getting this shrine. <laughs> now you think about it, Vanilla D2 isn't very roguelite from a modern standpoint without a shared stash. I uh, used to pluggy for so long you forgot it wasn't Vanilla Diablo. Yeah. Uh, pluggy... Only reason I didn't use pluggy very much was because horror stories of people's saves being corrupted quite frequently. Yeah, generally the best one of the pack is Diablo 2, so I can't disagree with that. It's got the best itemization at the very least. Yes, the new rune words are available in single player. Uh, there are some bugs that have not been fixed in the single player 2.6, but the actual like items are available. So it will be fine. And yes, we could have gone down the entire time. I don't want to. I want to actually get XP. I'm here, zomp. Not zomble. I had hidden boy. Yeah. Single player has access to everything um, Battle.net has. The exception last season was Terror Zones. And we have Terror Zones in single player now. see we have a path down there we have path over here i think these lead into the these do lead into the same route and our infravision is already worn off sadly i would like to get a book of it but i don't think we're going to that is just what i was needing hi Yeah, the Terror Zones didn't come until this patch. But for things like the minus resists on Assassin Traps, that's still multiplayer only. Because they did a hot fix for the servers, but they didn't do it for single player. Which kind of irks me a little bit because I would like to do a video on it. But I'll be damned if I'm going to like do like hours and hours of trading just to get kind of a half-hearted build at the end of ladder because I don't use JSP and I'm not going to give JSP money I don't have anything against JSP like as far as a website goes I don't like pay to win kind of stuff and it kind of fuels that so this is back to town this is what we were looking for at the beginning Da, 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 da. I think you have to be level... I don't remember what level you have to be, but I think we're well past it. We're level 12. There you go, man. We're just going to clean up each floor as we go. We'll have to redo this floor whenever we do our next stream, though. This is just free XP as far as anything's considered. There's our second ring. Yay! And I just lost my shield, which is fine. I would love an Armageddon staff, actually, now that I think about it. I don't think those spawn naturally, though. Until, like, hell difficulty, I believe. Why do you think people pay to win in D2R anyways? Isn't pay to win just a status symbol? Why not? Because they don't want to grind it out. I mean, I understand the mentality behind it. it. It's literally, I don't want to spend the time getting these items, so I will buy them. You basically make up your time deficit with money. You <laughs> say enjoy Diablo 2. Ever find Tyrael's Might? Yep. I have found every single item in the game. In Diablo 2. Not in Diablo 1. I have not found every item in Diablo 1. I have Holy Grailed twice over now. As far as, like, my current stash setup. I've probably Holy Grailed more than that if you count old Battle.net and... Um, current Battle.net and all that other stuff like that, but...
That's one reason why transferring items between old versions and modern version is a pain in the ass. Yep, even Mang Songs. I have found multiple Zod runes to put things in perspective. <laughs> I've not ethereal Holy Grail, but that's mostly because I don't keep track of what I find ethereally. At least I didn't for a very long time, because for a very long time I just didn't do any ethereal anything unless it was very specific items. And I think we may have just found a quest. No, that's the corner of a room. Never mind. Okay, so we have books in there. We'll need to clear that room. It's going to be a pain in the ass. Oh, Jeebus. Hi. That's a lot of you. Uh, let's go back to this. Actually, Firebolt is more effective. That was a lot of stuff just coming after me there. You don't think you've ever dropped anything higher than an um rune? You've traded fire but never dropped it yourself. And there's a hell difficulty in Diablo 1? Yes. But yes, only multiplayer. And yes... Each character has different stat caps as well. Like this one, I can get exceptionally high magic, but my strength, absolute garbage. Like my cap on it, I could reach it. I could have reached it by this level. Speaking of level up, there we go. We're up to 30. I want to get it up to at least 40, though. There's also items you can use to boost your stats. The elixirs. Yuri Shrine. I seem to remember that one being okay. And multiplayer quests do differ from single player quests. I just don't remember how. Yeah, there's there's a decent amount of like just fun stuff to kind of enjoy in Diablo 1. It's a lot harder to see things, though. <laughs> Knowledge and wisdom at the cost of self. Yeah, that's a stat change, isn't it? Um, I don't think we actually lost anything there. Unless we lost spells. There's less of them in multiplayer. Okay. Time for the fun! I knew this room would be filled with crap because it's a fairly decent sized room and it's got books in it. When in doubt, spam it out. Oh god, there's a lot more of you in there than I thought. We're gonna be here a minute. Well, I completely whiffed on that one. I was meaning to shoot it through the door. So many corpses. So little time. And fortunately, there is no, like, summon undead in this. Otherwise, I would totally build a necromancer out. Why do we keep getting heal other as well? I mean, I know why. We're on multiplayer, but I'm kind of annoyed at how many we're getting. <laughs> if I ever take this character to multiplayer, good. Odd. And I think that's this entire floor. And we are almost at three hours. <laughs> so that tells you anything. We should probably be calling it a wrap for the night. 
But we got some decent progress done. We got another ring. I will go up to town and identify it. Next time we will do the catacombs and probably get down into the caves and go even further down like that. But I do want to see what this ring is. Because we've yet to get ourselves a cursed item. There are 100% cursed items in this game. And this will be uploaded over on the Let's Play Everything channel as well. This is a backup. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Hey, it's a ring of the sky. That's actually decent. Da 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 da. But yeah, next time I'll fill up my potions and all that stuff, and we will do even more. So keep gaming, have fun, peace out. This has been Alzareth. I will see you guys next time. Bye.